fair to say we face many challenges in the world of organisational change. Most of them fall under two categories, sustainability and culture. And there's a pretty much root cause subject that sits behind both of those things, which is the way people's brains work. For many years, the world's been focused on the logic, the tools and techniques, um, the tangible. But what really makes a difference to the way organisations sustain change or not is the intangible stuff, the stuff that happens inside people's heads, not what they do with their hands, because they don't do anything with their hands until something's happened inside their head. Fortunately, today we've got the worlds of psychology and neuroscience to fall back on to help us explain some of the brain basics and help us understand organisational change in a bit more detail. It's pretty safe to say, given the experimentation that's been conducted over the last 10 or 15 years in the world of neuroscience, that our brain is constructed of a bunch of biological wires. The way those wires fire is our thinking patterns and our memory. Um, When our brain wires and fires, it produces chemicals, and depending on the chemical mix that's in our brain depends on how we act and react in certain circumstances. People acting and reacting is pertinent to making plans, setting strategy, deploying strategy, um, understanding problem solving and how to go about it, following process. Everything we try and get people to do under the banners of Lean, Operational Excellence, Agile, Six Sigma, um, all these things are all more about what happens in people's brains than they are about the tools and techniques we teach. If we don't change belief, Um, which is the wiring patterns in people's heads. We don't change the firing, um, the emotions and the actions. So so considering the BTFA model, believe, think, feel, act, um, and that in reverse, where we've got to recognise that we exist in the world, so we have experience, which is our, you know, interaction with the world, our actions, um, that triggers an emotional response, which triggers our thoughts, and our thoughts inform the, the wiring patterns in our head, Um, changing them through the process of neurogenesis. So, you know, we've got the evidence, we've got the science, we've got the understanding. We've now just got to introduce uh, the emotional considerations alongside the logical considerations, um, and then we'll be in a much better place to address the sustainability and uh, cultural challenges that we've been facing for the last few decades. So, if you want to make sustainable change in your business... Talk to us about BTFA.